as we say in the radio business, if you put that on the radio, people will listen to it. All right, here it comes. Anyone who isn't dead or from another plane of existence would do well to cover their ears right about now. Why, what a little tiny microchip deep inside some electronics. Broadcasting to the world through the miracle of the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, this is U62, the TAR. Now your host, a man with a lifelong dream of getting paid to do this, Mark Pappas. I thought it would be funny to ask Athabasca storekeepers about how they were preparing for Harry Potter mania. And oh, was I pleasantly surprised when I actually discovered massive crowds waiting for the new book. It's episode 57, Potter Mania. So sit back, relax, grab yourself some warm root beer and a towel that's oh so fluffy. You 62 the tar. You're in for something special. Enjoy the show. Good morning. It's July 21st. The seventh and final Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, has gone on sale. So we are here on the streets of Athabasca looking for the throes of Pottermania. The only place in town that I know for sure will be selling it is Value Drug Mart. It's 10 to 9 and they don't open until 9. We're going to go in there at 9 a.m. and document the crowds. Now, as I'm walking the streets of Athabasca, I can't help but notice that a crowd has formed in front of the Rexall drugstore. The Rexall just might be selling the new Harry Potter book, too. I wonder if these are fans. Let's go have a chat with them, shall we? So, I can't help but notice that there's a crowd forming here in front of the Rexall, and I know that the new Harry Potter book comes out today, and Rexall is going to be selling it. Are you here waiting for the new Harry Potter book to come out? Yeah, I've been here since about 6 o'clock this morning. Really? Yeah, I see you're in costume, you got the glasses and everything. Um, do you have the uh, lightning bolt scar under your toque? No, but I have uh, this trusty little thing. Ah. Never leave home without it. So what first drew you to the world of Harry Potter? My grandmother brought me the first book for Christmas back in grade 7. Fantastic. <laughs> so who do you think's going to die? Uh, Hedwig, the owl, and... Voldemort. Fantastic. Anyone else want to talk about the new Harry Potter book? Are you all here for the new Harry Potter book? Fantastic. What's your name, sir? <laughs> ah, the strong silent type. Cool, I'll just pretend you said some stuff. You're listening to Mark Kappas. He thinks he's the hottest thing since wheels on a bucket! I like him. You would! On U62. The Targ. I'm in the Value Drug Mart now. They just opened up. There actually were two people out in front. They tell me they were out of towners and they'd come here because they knew this was the only place in town that was selling it. Why'd you come to Athabasca to buy it? Well, we happen to be stopping through because our boys are at the Narrow Lake Conservation Camp and we're picking them up. And we came in last night and we asked uh, around town where we can get a copy of the book. And they said, well, the drugstore here at. Uh, Value Drug Mart seems to be the only place in town. So we, we staked it out and uh, found out what time they opened up in the morning. And uh, at 8.30 we left the hotel to see if there was a lineup because we knew that there was a limited number of copies available. Ah. And we thought, let's uh, take our chances, come on down here. And at 8.35 there was not a lineup. So we looked like our chances were good. And uh, we are now proud owners of the new Harry Potter book. After I talked with that man, I had to talk to one of the Value Drug Mart clerks to find out what exactly they were expecting. It's going to be me. For the morning, yes, and that's about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you find, uh, I see you guys got the posters in the windows, there's been a lot of interest the past few days about the book? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. When do you expect the big crowds to start? Well, we thought they'd be here already this morning. Okay. So, probably before noon. Gotta say, right now, I am pleasantly surprised. I was actually thinking that in a town like this, for Harry Potter mania, it would be absolutely dead. From here, I decided to run back to Rexall to find out how they were doing. As I walked back into the Rexall, I noticed the man who'd been standing out there since 6 a.m. He turned to me and proudly proclaimed, he got his. It's 6 o'clock this morning, apparently. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, are you expecting hordes of people like they are in the big cities? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I notice you're wearing glasses like Harry's. Are you in costume for this event today? <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. That's just me. <laughs> 
and I know there's also been all the concerns about security and all that. Have you had extra security guards on staff guarding the books in the back or anything like that? No. No, we just hid them. Oh. Yes. And I see the big note on the box, do not sell till Saturday. That's right. And I should also mention at the Rexall that standing right before me in line was this cute little girl who slapped a $50 bill on the counter and said, Could I have the new Harry Potter, please? Yeah, at the Rexall, they did, weren't making a big fuss about them. They were actually having them under the counter. You had to go up and ask for it. Almost like buying porn. The retail price of the new Harry Potter is $34.95 plus GST, in case you're interested. You're listening to Mark Kappas. It's a pity his genius was used for evil, not for the benefit of mankind. On U62, the Targ. Now in our quest to find out places that are selling the new Harry Potter book in Athabasca, we have come to that place that I affectionately refer to as the seventh circle of hell. That's right, extra foods. They always sell whatever's related to the biggest fat at the time. So let's head on in, see if they got... Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So I'm in the extra foods right now. I see they've got the first six books, but not the seventh. We're going to have to track down a customer service person and find out what's what and where's where. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering if you're going to be selling the new Harry Potter book today. I maybe get them. You don't get them till Monday. Why is that? I have no idea, and you'd have to talk to somebody else for that. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. And we find that Extra Foods, as always, has their fingers far removed from the pulse of society and, in fact, shoved far up its ass. You're listening to Mark Kappas. That young man fills me with hope and some other emotions that are weird and deeply confusing me. On U62, The Targ. When I was done at Extra Foods, I decided to head back to Value Drug Mart to see how things were going there. Value Drug Mart was the only place in town making any sort of a splash, if you consider one poster in the window to be a splash. Value Drug Mart had things under much tighter security than Rexall. At Value Drug Mart, they kept the books behind the pharmacist counter, along with all the hard drugs. I talked to the pharmacist about her morning of handing out the books. I don't know. What time is it? 9.30. 9.30? We've sold about, I don't know. 10 in the first 20 minutes. Okay. People are very excited. About how many do you have left? Two. Wow. They're going fast. While we were talking, a man came and requested his copy of the book. The pharmacist then let me hold what could very well have been the last copy in Athabasca, and I got a picture of it for my blog. From there, I went up to Rexall to find out if that truly was the last copy in Athabasca. I've already heard word on the street that you're sold out already, is that true? Yeah, we sold out in 20 minutes. Oh, fantastic. How many did you have to start with? Only a dozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. so within one hour of all the shops opening up, Athabasca was completely sold out of copies of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The book has been out for more than 24 hours now, so all the questions of who lives and who dies and how it all ends have surely been answered. From the very beginning, J.K. Rowling said that the whole Harry Potter epic would be about Harry's journey to adulthood. But it's not just Harry who's an adult now, but a whole generation of kids who have grown up reading the books. People all over the world were enraptured with Harry's journey to manhood, even in a little town like Athabasca. You make me feel my life is over you make me feel my life has gone You make me feel my life is over Although it's only just begun Turn 21 without a grave I did well. 
of the TARD. Don't forget you can download a new episode of the TARD every week at chaosinabox.com. The TARD is written and produced by Mark Kappas under the watchful eye of 42 Star Wars action figures. The TARD is a Chaos in a Box production.